Hi, good morning, everyone. Uh, uh, I think not uh, during this week, right? Uh, some, some of my older readers who are using this stock portfolio tracker, uh, that it's probably this this screen capture over here, right? Uh, they started noticing that uh, the the prices for uh is not updated. It's all showing a lot of minus one. So I'll just like to do a video to show you uh, some some other workarounds that you can do to actually um, uh, um, successfully grab the prices for this stock portfolio tracker. Now for the newer readers uh, or, or the viewers right who who are unaware I used to uh, I created this stock portfolio tracker to help uh, my readers as well as a lot of people track their portfolios uh, porf portfolio securities uh, based on transactions and one of the key functionalities a lot of people like is is uh, a function a functionality that that automatically grabs the prices from uh, from either uh, Google or Yahoo actually Google is not not anything surprising like we are, we're just using Google's a API but uh, I uh, on and off I've created different uh, ways to actually uh, grab prices from a few different sources uh. and uh, the the issue with this is that they 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 they're not always the most uh, authentic and they tend to break over time so you you have issues like 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 this uh, where you where where we see that the uh, the Yahoo price is actually over here is uh, minus one point one point zero. So this is to be affected. And uh, if you're here for some uh, uh, investments based or budgeting based uh, uh, videos, uh, this is probably not 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 the right one. And uh, and it makes sense to actually uh, skip this. But if you're interested in in a free way of actually how how to uh, track uh, your stock portfolio this might be something that you're interested in now uh, let's take a look at the uh, spreadsheet itself so uh, what i have over here right is a, a blueprint of my stock portfolio tracker this is where uh, I, I share it out so that people can make a copy of it and uh, and and populate with with with, with their own uh, securities transactions uh, based on different currencies and all, and uh, oh, so you ca as you can see, this is also affected. Uh, if you look at the Yahoo prices, it's showing like minus one point zero. So uh, and but over here, you're also seeing that Google is not get getting prices because uh, Google after some time they stop supporting. Uh, 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 this uh, price data from a lot of other exchanges because this does not come cheap and uh, Google uh, is not willing to pay that and so and so uh, what's the problem with th this uh, basically uh, the Yahoo API calls right uh, they do not allow uh, uh, people to actually assess it anymore so uh, based on the design of 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 this uh, this uh, this function over here, I call it a function. Uh, get y price three 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 right. Uh, it will return a minus one, uh, which is which is a, a error in normal successful con conditions, right? Uh, it should re return a, a, a HTTP response code of two hundred, which uh, which means that uh, I I have grabbed the data successfully, and then I, uh, I I I can process the data and then show you the 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 price in due time, so the fast solution to actually like like solve this one is that actually I have more than one implementation. Uh. This is get y price three. Actually, get y price two works. So if you come over here and then you change to get y price two, okay, which is you change the three to two, then you press enter. So to propagate this formula to the rest, right? You just drag them all the way over here. Then you can see that the price will start updating. Yeah. So, <coughs> excuse me. So uh, right now we we 
uh, we're doing it for stock summary then let's say we go over to uh, over here we also do the same thing And you can see that the USD one starts updating again. Okay. I'll probably do a more in-depth uh, video about how do you use this uh, stock portfolio tracker because last time uh, I, I don't do these kind of things and uh, looking at a wall of text might not be the most conducive to learn how to use this stock portfolio tracker. And if, if I make it easier, it, uh, some of you all might find that it's useful uh, to actually implement it on, on, on your own. Okay, so this is the fast way to actually solve the problem. Now let's take a look at the back end. So this is the app script. Under this app script, right, this is this is the brain behind like the price grabbing right? and you and this one get Y price tree, right? It's the one that is like that was not uh, working so so well. Okay, so this is the one that you're currently implementing if you choose to use get y price 2 and and most of the details are roughly the same so so it's it boils down to the difference in this versus this okay now uh what's the difference between these two i have no i I have no idea. Uh, I have this strange, uh, eerie worry that actually this one will, will face the same problems uh, on and off. But you never know because sometimes it's, sometimes it's that uh, uh, it's just some temporary blip in this implementation itself. Then after a while, this one also, uh, it's, it's actually usable. Okay, so uh, just some background information. And uh, I think that's all for this. That's all for this video. Um, if you, uh, f if you like uh, the content that I pr produce, right, do like and sub, uh, subscribe to this video, and uh, and I hope to see you soon uh, with more uh, investment space or personal finance space content. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, and uh and uh i will be posting some of these uh this this code for this uh get y price uh on on the short post over here which i will link to 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 this video as well <laughs>